Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In this Flipped Teacher Professional Learning video, we're going to continue with our series on Reflector Teacher Edition and go through some of the other benefits of using Reflector Teacher. Now, you might remember this little screen here is our control panel for Reflector Teacher. And at the moment, you can see that I've got four devices connected, but none of them are showing. That might be because I said to my students at the start of the uh, session, I need you all to connect so that you're ready to go uh, and I can pull you up at any any point to show uh, you know, something that we've been learning about. So let's say I want to highlight this particular device here. All I need to do is click on the little eye uh, and that will show up. I can then show the other devices by doing the same. Now you do need to be aware the default option for reflector is always on top. So you need to, uh, let's bring these other ones through. So we've got four devices connected and showing now on the screen. What can we do with them? On the black bar here at the top of each of these devices, you'll see a camera icon and a little recording icon, and they do exactly what you think they do. They will take a screenshot of whatever is on the screen at that particular point for that particular device. That's the camera. So I can click on the camera icon there and it's taken a screenshot. Now you can see it's processing that and I can now save that as an image wherever I need to for whatever purpose that may be. The recording icon will re simply record whatever is happening on this on the device at that point in time. So if I hit the record icon here, that will now record whatever happens on that particular device, which is my phone just here, and it will show you each of those things as they pop up, and you'll then have that saved as a video file. So if I now hit stop record, finishes the recording, and it will ask you to save it. Now the length of time that this part takes will vary depending on the power behind your computer, the speed of your computer, and what else you're doing at the time that you're trying to process the recording. If you've got a lot of CPU heavy activity happening in the background, there we go. So there is our save, uh, save page. We need to give it a title. It will save it as an MP4 file format by default. Change where it saves to if you want to, um, but that will then save that for you. And you can then use that for whatever purpose you need to. Let's bring back my control panel. So we've also got on each of the four devices in the top left hand corner a little um, gear wheel. That's our options menu. And you've got some fairly straightforward options there. Always on top you can see that is on by default. You can have that turn off if you want. So at the moment if I try and click on the web page that's in the background here, it won't show up because I've got these set, these screens are set to always on top. If however I turn that off, there you go, it's now off, you can see that, oh, there we go, I can now click back to my other screen. There we go, so that will of course affect all of the, the devices, not just that particular one. Here we've also got a little cross next to the name of the device. If I click on that cross, that will disconnect that particular device. Now there are a few other things of course. I can click and drag the device around on the screen to rechange it by clicking on the black menu bar here. To resize it, simply move your mouse so it's around the outside edge and you can resize that. That's a fairly straightforward thing. Over on our control panel though, we've got a few other things. Now you might have, let's say, 30 students in your particular class and you really want to focus on uh, one or two particular students uh, because they're doing something particularly amazing. To focus in on them, all you need to do is come to your control panel here and click on the eye icon of the devices that you don't want showing on screen. So you can now highlight, hey, look at the amazing work that these two students are doing. This is what that should look like. Um, whatever that process may be that you need to utilize in your classroom. We've also got a few other things here as well. The record button here will record all of the devices uh, at the same time. So as students are going through and doing whatever it is that they're doing on their device, it will record those. Click on that. You then click on the record button and you can see that each of these is now ticking over and is now recording. To stop the recording for all of them, click on stop. It will go through that process again of finishing the recording and asking you to save it. And of course, once it gives you the save option, save that wherever you would as per normal. So that's a quick run through of some of the main features of Reflector Teacher Edition. Uh, the ability to record, to take screenshots of whatever is on the devices, uh, to selectively have different devices 
connected but displayed or not displayed depending on what you need uh, and the ability to choose which devices connect by giving you the, uh, the choice up front. So I hope you found these two couple of videos useful. Uh, as always for more helpful FTPL videos please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos link. Thanks very much for watching.